Hey guys, Jonathan Feist here for Drone Rush. Next up from AU VSI Exponential in Denver, we're gonna sit down and chat with our friends from Epson with their Moverio headset. You've seen this guy on our channel before, and there's not much new in terms of the hardware here today, uh, but there's some great new software developments. As you can imagine, showing the actual innards of an AR headset is a little bit difficult on film. So this one's more of a listen than it is a watch, but stick around, listen through, there's some great stuff in there. Thanks for having us guys. My name's Mike, I'm a product manager on the Epson Moverio product line. The product we're showing here at AUVSI is the Moverio BT300. We've previously showed it, so I want to talk more to the new updates. The quick thing though, for those who have never seen the product or the hardware, is that these are heads-up display augmented reality glasses for flying your DJI drone. Right now our product works with pretty much the whole line of DJI aircraft. So Spark, Mavic, Phantom, Inspire, all the way up and down the line. Really anything running on the DJI Go or Go 4 app. The cool thing about these is that as you see they're transparent. So when I wear them, I get a large virtual screen that hovers in front of me with all of the information on DJI Go or Go 4, along with associated telemetry data, FPV view, etc. But the key is now the pilot no longer has to look down where their phone or tablet would be, and they no longer have to worry about if they're wearing a fully immersive goggle, they don't, they're not blocked out from the real world. They can still see around them. A question people often ask is how does it work outside? So we actually have little sunglass clips. These go in front so that when you're out there on a bright sunny day, you can see. And again, now you're not looking down at a phone and losing virtual line, or visual line of sight because you have this virtual display in front of you. But again, the things I want to highlight more for uh, today is that a lot of people already own these and they're asking, well, what else can I do? What are the new things that Epson is working on to give these even more value as a product? Because these are Android based, we can build applications and continue to offer new value for a customer. Right now, DJI Go and Go 4 are on the device, but we also just released a new, a new application it's a flight simulator. And what that is, is that a pilot now, for all those times you've had a friend, uh, a colleague, a spouse say, oh, hey, you own a drone. Do you mind if I fly it? And you say, wait a minute, have you ever flown anything before? Do you know how these operate? What's up, down, what's left, right, forward, back? And a lot of times people say no. Well, we know that these aircraft, even the Mavic, we know this thousand dollars, you don't want to take it up in the air if someone's not familiar with how to fly. So the flight simulator actually uses DJI's actual flight remote. You have to be paired to the real device. It has to be on, so it mimics everything other than flying it. You obviously take the propellers off just to be safe, but then when you pop on the glasses, in front of me, I get a virtual version of the DJI Mavic. Now whatever aircraft you're flying with, right now we just have a Mavic fly in front of you but it uses the real controls. So the pilot can actually use the Mavic controller or the flight remote for the Phantom, Inspire, etc. They then fly and this virtual drone flies around the room. Gives people a chance to get used to flying without going, uh, actually taking the aircraft in the air and risking anything happening. The other cool things that actually just got released recently, we have a partnership with a company called Edgy Bees. They built a game uh, called Drone Pre-AR which you again are, this, in this case you actually do fly your drone, but they gamify it and you can play a multiplayer version with people around the world. So an exciting just new way to use the existing technology you have, whether it's glasses or using something else. Uh, we also, it's not out yet and it's not fully announced, but a little sneak peek or tease is that people have always asked us, well wait, you guys have things like head tracking sensors in your glasses, you have a camera, you have things that are different than a phone or tablet. What if I want to do gimbal control with head movement? Or what if I want to have a different design so that I'm not just looking at Go 4 the same way it would be on a phone or a tablet? We are working on an app with DJI and a respected software agency to build an exciting new application. And that app will be built on the DJI SDK. It'll be similar to Go and Go 4 and all the functionality and capability but it'll be optimized for glasses, meaning that you'll have a more of a fighter pilot heads-up display with data stripped down, 
to make it easier to fly. You'll have transparency mode so that you can maintain visual line of sight. And then you'll have things like uh, an ability to record from your point of view or to do gimbal control with your head. So a lot of new exciting stuff come out. Uh, keep an eye for updates on that. We'll be formally announcing that in the coming months and targeting a release uh, in the not so distant future. The key though to remember is really for people who buy the hardware, we're gonna have this hardware for a long time. So we're trying to make sure that we offer customers more and more applications with respected partners in the ecosystem and the applications we build ourselves. So a couple things about the hardware in general. Uh, price point, retails at $7.99. It's sold through a variety of channels now. It's sold at the DJI retail brick and mortar stores. It'll soon be on uh, places like DJI.com, uh, B&H, uh, Amazon, places like that. Right now we are doing a $100 rebate, so it's retailing for $6.99. Um, the key though is that we are offering additional value on the software side. So Epson as a hardware manufacturer, we're doing a lot to try to make sure that the price is good enough that people can get into the game, they can begin flying with an FPV system. But what we're offering again is new applications via our app market. So for a lot of people, they wonder, how does this device work? What you're seeing here is it actually has a little Android control unit. This is where the CPU, so we have an Intel Atom chipset along with the battery lives. Just plugs in directly to the back of your DJI flight remote. And then when you need applications, similar to when you're on an iOS or Android device and you go to iTunes or Google Play, you set up an account and download apps, we have a little app market, much smaller of course, but it's called the Moverio Apps Market. A user goes in there, creates an account, and we have a drone category where we list all of the existing uh, apps that we have that are drone related. So some of the ones that are cool, uh, obviously we have DJI Go and Go 4. DJI provides us with those every time they have a new version for us to test. Uh, we also have a, a build or new app from Edgy Bees. It's called Drone Pre-AR. The cool thing about that app is it allows you to have a gamified drone flying experience and it's multiplayer. Uh, we also have an app called Ultimate Flight App that's built on the DJI SDK for piloting your DJI aircraft. Um, those are built by third parties. We're of course uh, in conversations, I can say, not fully developed with everyone, but we're working with ecosystem partners. People like Drone Deploy, Pix4D, Lychee, we're trying to figure out what is the best method to help get some of their applications onto our device, whether it's short term or longer term. Uh, so keep an eye out for things like that. And then we are building our own apps. So Epson, we've built uh, one application that's released. It's a flight simulator. And that allows people to have a simulated experience. They connect to the real drone. They still use the real flight remote. But instead of flying the actual Mavic, in this case, they fly a virtual or augmented reality Mavic around the room. That's available now. It's a free download for people who own the device. And then we have a uh, optimized version of DJI Go slash Go 4 coming out uh, in the coming months. I can't commit to the exact timing yet, but we'll have a formal announcement shortly. And that application, the goal is that we offer it the same experience you have in Go or Go 4, but instead of it being designed and optimized for a phone or tablet, which is what Go and Go 4 were built for, it'll be optimized for our heads-up display with things like gimbal control using head tracking um, and transparency mode to see right through the display. So a lot of cool things both already available and in the pipeline from an application standpoint. If you have any questions, the key is always keep an eye on our YouTube channel. It's just uh, youtube.com forward slash Moverio, which is M-O-V-E-R-I-O. We put all sorts of how-to videos, um, new product concept, things like that, along with our website. And then also keep an eye on DJI because we'll be announcing some stuff with them through their social media channels as we go forward. Thanks for the time and look forward to seeing you guys at the next show. We'll be at uh, a lot of the drone shows like Inner Drone and Commercial UAV coming up this fall. Thank you guys for sticking around and thank you Michael for the information. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing and hearing more uh, about the Enmovario glasses. And if you guys like what you see here, thumbs up or appreciate it. And be sure to hit that bell icon when you subscribe to make sure you see what comes next. We have a little bit more coming from AUVSI Exponential in Denver. Thanks again. Fly safe.